What is it? What's the matter? In the bedroom. Mary, there isn't anybody in there. But I saw her, Barry. This time she moved and opened her eyes. Oh, for sake. You don't care about me. You look at me in money terms. One big fat meal ticket. No, you're wrong. I'm only trying to help you. Get out of my house. Get out of my house now! Okay, okay, I'm leaving. And don't come back! Hello Mary, it's good to see you again. You're not real. Go away! I don't believe you're here. But I am here. You're dead! I went to your funeral! You did more than that. What do you mean? You murdered me. It was an accident! It was murder. You knew I was allergic to peanuts. I had to, Shirley. It was the only way I was ever going to get anything published in my name. I gave you my manuscript to read as a friend to tell me what you thought of it. I loved it. I, I've been trying for so long to get something of mine published, but no one was ever interested. And then I took your manuscript to a publisher, and they jumped at the chance. What was I supposed to do? Tell them that it wasn't mine? Yes. Why not? Because this was my big chance to get something published in my name. Didn't you think that sooner or later the publisher would realise you just can't write? But they gave me a five book contract. Yes, on the strength of my manuscript. I'm sorry, Shirley. I'm so, so sorry. Mary Westmacott, you're under arrest for the murder of Shirley Johns. What's going on? You can't arrest me. You're my publisher. I'm Detective Senior Constable Barry Roberts from the Victorian Police Homicide Squad. And these two gentlemen standing behind me are my colleagues. And you're just confessed to the murder of Shirley Johns. But... And this young lady is Jessie Johns, Shirley's twin sister. So you're not Shirley? No, I'm not Shirley. So I'm not going mad? No, you're not going mad. But you are going to jail. Senior Constable Orma and Senior Constable Blaine, take this woman outside and read her her rights. This way please, madam. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be used in evidence against you in a court of law. You have the right to a legal practitioner. She just wasn't good enough to be a writer. 
How on earth did she ever think she could get away with it, Uncle Barry? Ambition. It made her blind. Unfortunately for Mary, she just didn't have the talent. Not like his sister. Mary didn't have enough imagination. She could only write about her past. And the only thing in her past is the way she murdered my sister. It was lucky for us that you and Mary hadn't met before because I don't think we could have got a confession any other way. She only often spoke about her, but no, I never met her, not even at her funeral. No doubt she was keeping a low profile. Yes, justice in this case will be served. 